Hey, Johnny Pink. I thought you said this was a video about astrophotography. Yes, this is an astrophotography video. This is Yerba Buena Road, and I believe in getting wherever you're gonna go as early as you can, make an adventure out of it. I can't shoot from my backyard, my back porch, like some of the other amazing uh, astrophotographers do out there. And my stuff, is it amazing? Well, no, but I do my best. What I'm gonna show you in this one, well, I might shoot something else tonight since it is another night, but Yerba Buena, I know I've cycled on this. I'm parked way over there, telescope's half set up. I'm gonna go get set up and uh That's a view. There's more bugs out here than people, I love it. I had planned on getting the sunset just behind the mountains. Didn't quite work the way I had planned. It is what it is. Let's go back to the beginning when I was cycling out that way. That's Mulholland, Yerba Buena. It's Encinal and Mulholland, that's what it is. Man, I don't remember. But either way, um, Sandstone Peak Trailhead is down that way and Yerba Buena is way, way, way out there and out past that is the ocean. And my reason for stopping here is to introduce it from there. It's out that way. Let's go back to the beginning and start with a sunrise. This is my backyard, or our back porch. My wife calls it the, back, the backyard. It's the back porch. We've got flowers in through here. Polaris would be directly behind me, and I have shot from here, and if I can find one of the time lapses, I'll put that in behind me, here, or around me. If you came and you found my channel, man, I really want to say thank you. You really should check out some of the people that I watch. You can hear the hummingbirds going nuts. Uh, Astro Backyard, probably one of the best known astrophotographers on the web. Chuck's Astrophotography, Dylan O'Donnell, and Peter Zelink. I've learned so much from each one of those digging into what they do. I love photography. I love that moment of the capture, right? And you, and you look at your screen and it's so exciting and you might shoot five, five, 10, 20 shots and pick out one. It's so exciting. It's creating something magical. Astrophotography is frustrating. You might have a fantastic night of imaging. You might have a full night of 
crap. You just don't know. You do your best to make sure everything is, is sharp and in focus. You don't drop a camera. I'm using all beginner stuff, so if I drop my telescope, yeah, it hurts, but I won't be heart, I'll be heartbroken and I break stuff. All I can say is, man, I'm doing my best. I'm having so much fun with it. When you finally get that capture, I understand if this is Los Angeles. <laughs> I understand when people, the excitement behind it, when you get this magical image. So I'm gonna share with you my capture of the Whirlpool Galaxy. I am extremely excited about it. Does it look great? No, it's only about an hour's worth of imaging. I'm only taking two minute exposures. It's not guided. I'll get to there at some point, but right now I'm using all beginner stuff other than my D850, which I think is phenomenal for astrophotography. All I can say is I really, really, really thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Have a fantastic day, whatever you're gonna do. I say that all the time because I believe it. Make it a fantastic day. So thank you to you. And with that, I'm gonna share with you my Whirlpool Galaxy.